Hi, I'm Tim Thornton, 25 years old. I'm a jockey riding thoroughbred racehorses at Arlington Park. I grew up on kind of like a small training center. Um, my dad trained horses, um, you know, all through when we lived in Louisiana. Chris and Amy, we lived on the same property. My dad helped him get started. From there, when I was, I guess I was about seven or eight years old, we moved to uh, Southwest Texas, a little town in the hill country uh, called Utopia, Texas. You know, all my family is always rodeoed, so I got more into the rodeo from, I guess, from about the time I was about, I don't know, eight years old to about 14. And kind of ran into Chris back in Louisiana. We went back to visit and ran into him, and he was up here riding. You know, I'd always wanted to be a jockey, but I had kind of got into the rodeo and wasn't necessarily as, you know, as much focused on, you know, riding races. I was uh, riding bulls and roping and doing other stuff at the time, but it's what I always, it was my dream, and that's what I always wanted to do. So got the opportunity, I guess, when I was about 15 years old to come up here and spend the summer up here, and I stayed with Chris, and, and I started coming to the track and galloping. Started from there, and actually I rode my first race here at Arlington, June 1st of 2003. About 10, 12 days later, I won my first race on Saturday Sin, a horse for Christine Jenks. Um, I think it was about 30 to one, I think he paid like $62. Saturday Sin is in front, about 30 to one. Saturday Sin to give Tim Thornton his first career win. For your first win, there's nothing like it. It's definitely a moment that's gonna stand out in any jockey's career. So after, the, after that, I, you know, I just kind of my business kept picking up, picking up. I ended up getting hurt my first couple years. I was off for like seven months. I had shattered my wrist. Finally, it wasn't until I guess about 2006, I want to say, where I finally was able to string along a period of time where I was not injured, you know, where I was off for months and have to come back and rebuild. Now I've had, you know, smaller injuries here and there where I've been off, you know, a couple weeks sometimes. Um, but. My, I was able to establish myself a lot more and I basically uh, based myself here in Chicago. A jockey never really wants to, you know, be bouncing all over the map all the time. That happened, you see that happen, you know, quite a lot and, you know, trainers always seem like, well, why would she ride him now because he's going to be gone tomorrow or something like that. He's not going to be here. So I tried to, you know, build myself a base, something where I established myself basically. And I think that I've, I think that I've done that now. I got a little girl that's two now. so. I don't want to. I don't want to miss any time uh, out of out of her life. She's number one, so I want to make sure that I'm always there for her. Like my most, this most special win. It's kind of a string of wins on Peyote Patty. Peyote Patty, perfect at the park and on to five in a row. She's a special horse to me because I've been with her, you know, for a long time throughout her whole career, and we've had a lot of success together. And my wall at home has got pictures of Peyote Patty everywhere. <laughs> I guess it was the um, Stars and Stripes last year here, and it was grade three. And um, it was great because my mom and my nephew uh, came up to visit because she comes up to visit every, you know, every summer. And uh, there was the first day that she came, and I'm like, Mom, today, if you're gonna come to the races, today's the day. <laughs> there was a good horse, the favorite, Winchester, was in the race coming off of a layoff. So we knew that was the horse to beat. He turned for home, I was able to ease him out. When I asked him, he leveled off and came home strong. And, uh, Winchester made a little run at me, but he, he couldn't he couldn't he couldn't catch me. <laughs> um, one thousandth win that was and that was that was that was awesome. And I didn't even know that I was getting even getting close. A, a good friend of mine, uh, Jeff Barnes, he told me he's like, man, you're gonna get the one thousandth win probably here pretty soon. I'm like, nah, no way, that can't be that close. He's like, yeah, it's gonna be you know it's gonna be here probably in the next couple weeks. So I called my mom up and. Um, Told her, hey mom, you better get up here. <laughs> I'm getting close. I had to do a little of arranging to get it all, you know, all set up to, for everybody to be there that day, because you know, you never really never know when you're gonna win the races or what. So and it was on a Sunday, it was a, you know, the last the last race, you know, and I I ended up getting picking up a mount an entry for uh, D Polis. And um, the horse's name is uh, Mr. Flexible. So I was thinking in the post parade, you know, the horse is a longer longer shot, so thinking, you know, how am I gonna get them all back up here? How am I gonna get everything so you know everybody could be here? About the three, it's pulling. I'm like, man, I got, I got some horrors here. <laughs> so I just stayed, I just stayed tucked down on the fence just as long as I could. When he turned for home, and I asked him to run, and he just exploded home through all the traffic and everything. And I just, just got up the last jump. Mr. Flexible, win number one thousand four. Tim Thornton. 
And it's always, it's already such a wonderful feeling to get there. And on top of it, it was just that much more, that, that much more, you know, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. I don't even know how to describe the feeling, but uh, it's a wonderful one. <laughs> um, so, you know, it was awesome to have everybody there. They were all in there, you know, in the winter circle with me and I was, you know, able, able to share a special moment with all my family and all of my friends and uh, all the people that I love. Coming into Arlington, you know, I was expecting to have a good meet. At Hawthorne, I was uh, second behind Cisco Torres, which we all know is a great rider, has had a lot of success. And uh, so to be to run second behind a guy like that's no shame to nobody. I've never, I've never like, you know, not have been successful. Yeah, it's always great to, you know, be on the top and be the number one guy, but you mainly gotta just stay focused and not get discouraged if things aren't going exactly the way that you would like them to be. You always gotta stay positive and keep working hard. Be loyal to the people that are, you know, that are good to you and gotta respect the fact that that this is a game of ups and downs. You know, I've actually started off here so far just a touch slow, but I don't I don't let that bother me. You just gotta keep going and it'll it'll come around. I'm not too worried about it. Got some good horses coming up, some good mounts. So I'm just gonna stay focused and keep working and, and what happens happens and we'll go from there. I think I'm the leading uh, ostrich rider in Chicago. <laughs> it's Tim Thornton with hand raised in triumph, and Tim Thornton wins it. My favorite food would be crawfish. I love crawfish. We have crawfish boils all the time. I've had four already this year. <laughs> you have a big get together and have all your friends over, and it's always a good time. And uh, crawfish is awesome too. <laughs> I used to play basketball. Believe it or not, I was actually pretty good. I played varsity. I was the guy that always uh, shot three points. I was doing that and stole the ball all the time because I was pretty I was pretty quick. I love to cook. I do that for fun. I barbecue all the time in the jack room back there too. It's one of the things I you know I, I, I enjoy cooking for people. I, I, I enjoy catering to people and uh, and um, I've been told I'm a pretty good cook at, at that. So <laughs> hate TV. Can't sit there and watch a 30 minute episode of anything. <laughs> I like to be outside. I like to be outside. Uh, I like to hunt, fish, you know, I'm, I'm an outdoors person. Things because I grew up, you know, my, that's all we did. My brothers is spend time outside. We, you know, we, we were never in the house, ever. I guess I would say this is my home here for now. As long as I'm healthy, as long as things keep going the way they are, I'm glad to be here. And I've had a lot of success, a lot of good trainers behind me, and you know, you always gotta appreciate the people that support you. And so I just gotta keep going. Keep, keep, try to stay healthy and keep riding your best and work hard and hopefully good things will come to me continuously.